so beautiful. We are about to celebrate the joining of these two souls very, very much in love. The unconditional love shared between Michael and Carrie. It is one of life's greatest gifts when two souls meet and love leads them together along a path of marriage. And today, the promises that they make will bind their hearts and solidify their bond in this lifetime commitment as they are about to be united in marriage. And at this time, I would like to ask who's presenting this beautiful bride to this wonderful young man. My wife and I. Yeah, go ahead and give your girl a big hug. <laughs> Go ahead and step forward. Dad, go ahead and welcome this guy to the family. He's your son-in-law. And please place your hands together. <laughs> you can do that themselves. <laughs> there we go. And you're going to pass your bouquet. And everyone, you may go ahead and be seated and be comfortable. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> and the first thing that I'm going to ask of the two of you is to take in a deep breath and try to relax. It's the hardest thing you're going to do on your wedding day. Family and friends, let me first of all just welcome all of you to Florida, especially to Anna Maria Island. I'm sure that you will all agree with me that this is quite a, a hidden tropical paradise where we're enjoying the vows being shared today. On behalf of both Mike and Carrie, I want to express a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for being here to uplift them with your love and support of their marriage. As you can all imagine, planning this wedding has not exactly always been the most joyful experience for Mike and Carrie, since they had to postpone the date. And thanks to Florida's recent popularity of being the top contender on the top hit of the COVID charts, today was even looking a little iffy right up to last week. Yep. That said, I'm sure that you can all truly appreciate that your being here today is really the greatest gift that you could have given them on their wedding day. It is also on festive days like today that we can't help but think of those special family members that are here with us in spirit. So today we just want to honor and acknowledge those special people that are greatly missed, dearly loved, and in our hearts today. Family and friends, we are obviously all here to celebrate the love between Mike and Carrie, but I think it would be a wonderful gesture if we all just took a moment to celebrate and appreciate each other. When is the next time that all of you are gonna be brought together in such a beautiful tropical paradise for such a festive occasion after pushing through a nationwide pandemic to be here? And here you are with so much love in your hearts. So let's take a moment and stir up some love out here on this beach. So I want everybody to turn to the person beside them and give them some love. You can do a COVID style if you want, elbow, fist bump, but let's have some hugs, some handshakes, air hugs. Let's stir up some love. Today we all become one loving family. And as we move forward in an attitude of love and of gratitude, I would like to ask for God's blessings over the ceremony as well as the marriage between Mike and Carrie. So if I could ask for everyone to please bow their heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful for your presence with us here today and for your divine blessings over the ceremony. Lord, the love between a man and woman has always been your richest and greatest gift to the world. And today we celebrate that love, the loving union between Mike and Carrie. Lord, we give you thanks for your gifts of enduring love, your many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, and for your presence with us here today. Lord, we pray that Mike and Carrie will always turn to you for guidance, for strength, for provision, and for direction. May they glorify you in the choices they make in all that they do. And if times should grow difficult and hardships arise, Lord, give them strength to overcome and help them to look into their hearts and remember the love that has brought them here today. And we pray this in your name, Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. So Mike and Carrie, here we finally are. It's your wedding day. And what a year you picked to get married. It's the start of a new decade. And of course, you're being married in the midst of a global pandemic, a time when history is being made. And obviously, the world is quite a different place than what it was when you first started your wedding planning. 
And although no couple should have to go through all of the stress and uncertainty that you and your families have been put through to get to this point, I'm sure you'll agree that Plan B and how everything turned out is absolutely perfect. It's all worthwhile. Through all of the stress, trials, and challenges, the two of you have demonstrated that love prevails. It truly does conquer all. The two of you have proven that. On each anniversary that you celebrate moving forward, as you are reminded of these incredible events that surrounded your wedding day, be reminded of your incredibly strong commitment to one another and realize that absolutely nothing is going to prevent the two of you from sharing your vows on this wonderful day with all of the people closest to you. So today as we stand here at our altar in the sand, I would like the two of you to reflect for just a few moments on your love story, the time that you've spent together, the experiences and adventures that you've shared, and the memories that you've already made as a couple. So I want you to think back to that first time you met, 2011, through mutual friends. Conversation came easy, you were both very comfortable with one another, and obviously the chemistry between you was clearly evident right from the start. You enjoyed your first date on July 18th, 2012, and that was the beginning of your beautiful love story. As a minister, I'm always relieved when couples don't rush into marriage, and eight years is definitely not rushing into anything. <laughs> so I think we're good, and we're definitely ready to be here today. But what I want to say is throughout those eight years together, you have encouraged and supported one another. You push one another to be the very best versions of yourselves. You bring out the absolute best in each other. You're both very hard workers. You both have incredibly adventurous spirits. You love to travel. You both have a great sense of humor, which keeps things fun and exciting. <laughs> You're amazing parents to your fur kids, Lonnie and Brody. And the two of you fell in love with the very reasons that everyone here loves about the two of you. And that's the fact that both of you have kind, warm, loving, and generous hearts. So I want the two of you to think about how your friendship and your relationship has grown to this incredible and loving place in each other's lives. Because right now, I'm sure it's safe to say that the love between you is unconditional and it's immeasurable. At this time, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank both of our sets of parents. It is because of the strong foundation of love that you provided your children as they were growing up that they learned to love themselves so that they could love another person the way they now love each other. Your support and guidance gave them wisdom to make good choices and to fully open their hearts to the person that's standing before them today on their wedding day. As parents, this is a very proud and emotional day for all of you as you witness your adult children standing here at the altar about to share their hearts. So just realize that today, all of those years of love have come to fruition as your two families are being brought together as one. Michael and Carrie are overwhelmed with gratitude for your guidance, your support, your unconditional love, and the way that you expressed all of these things to them growing up. And these wonderful gifts have now been passed on to them and they will now exercise and establish these expressions of love and their roles as husband and wife. I feel compelled to just share one last piece of their love story, the final chapter of the love story becoming, before becoming husband and wife, which was Michael's romantic proposal. It took place here in Florida on Clearwater Beach with Carrie's mom and dad there to witness those special moments. Michael, you got down on one knee and asked for this beautiful young lady's hand in marriage. I'm sure it's pretty safe to say she said an overwhelming <laughs> yes because we're here today. But then you all proceeded to celebrate over a very romantic <laughs> dinner at Hooters. You gotta love that. Yep. So having said that, let's get you two married. <laughs> Michael and Carrie, today you're about to make some very special promises to one another 
as you honor your love for each other. Today you will carry the most respected titles that a man and woman can share as you officially become husband and wife. As the two of you set out to embark on this new journey as a married couple, you have a vast and unknown but beautiful future that stretches before you. Throughout your marriage, do things for each other, not because of duty or sacrifice, but do it in the spirit of joy and of love. Many couples tend to think that marriage is a 50-50 proposition, when in actuality, the best relationships are 90-10. If you both give 90% and only take 10, you will have created a formula that will likely bring about the happiest and most beautiful lives and successful marriage in your years upcoming. As you both know, love is a lot of work, but it's realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second will be worth it because the two of you are in this together. As you have already experienced, Love is overcoming obstacles, it's facing challenges, it's fighting to be together and holding on like you are right now and never ever letting go. So today as you create this new milestone in your lives, continue to seek and experience joy and happiness and may you find it as you continue growing together as a couple. May you bear one another's weaknesses and grow from each other's strengths. And as you begin this new chapter in your lives, remember that all of your yesterdays have led you to where we stand today. And the immeasurable depth of love that you share for one another will lead you successfully into tomorrow. So commit to the miracle of embracing each day in gratitude because you have found your soulmate. Michael and Carrie, as you both know, marriage is the promise between two people who love each other deeply as the two of you do. You trust in that love, you honor each other as individuals, and you have chosen to spend the rest of your lives together. So are you ready to walk down this path as husband and wife and live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love as you marry your very best friend and partner in life? Hell yeah. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's what we wanted to hear. These people came a long way to hear those words. <laughs> so now that you have stated that you are ready to move forward in this lifelong commitment to one another, I'm going to invite the two of you to go ahead and share your beautiful vows. You're going first. Okay. So, apparently, Carrie's going first. Okay. <laughs> and Carrie, I'm going to let you go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. You ready? Michael, you're the same person behind closed doors that the rest of the world sees. You make me laugh. Sorry. You make me laugh in all situations and you help me keep a perspective on the important things in my life. You've always been my biggest supporter and I'll always be not just your partner, but your best friend. Ever since I was little, my birthday wish was that I would find someone who makes me as happy as my mom and dad make each other. And it's not bad luck that I tell you that wish because it already came true when I met you. You make me laugh harder than anyone else, and I trust you as my best friend. You always give me that bottom of the nine, bases loaded, two outs, last at bat, tied game, grand slam, full of butterflies kind of feelings that never go away. I promise to hold your hand whenever you want, even if you always squeeze too tight. I promise to help you love life as much as you love me. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to make you laugh. I promise to appreciate the big and little things that you do for me. I promise to stand firmly by your side through whatever may come. And I promise that I will always look at you the same as I am right now. I'm pretty stoked to spend the rest of my life with you. Whether we spend time fishing together, going to baseball games, or hanging out at home with our fur babies. I know that a marriage can never be considered perfect, but I also know that we will have one that is perfect for us. Being yours is a privilege, and I never imagined that I could love someone the way that I love you. 
I could not be more thankful for the day God brought you into my life and for all the days that are yet to come. I'm so excited that today I have the absolute honor of becoming your wife. Michael Allen Halterman, I give you my hand, my heart, and my love, always and forever. My turn, huh? It's your turn, you're up. Before you begin, <clears throat> I just want to make a, a, a quick note to everybody. I know that you're likely not able to hear them share these vows. They will be making some formal vows that you will hear. But one of the things that I always like to ask each of the couples that I work with is if they're even comfortable to hold a microphone because these moments are very intimate and very special. So it's not like they don't want to share these moments, but it's so important that they're most comfortable sharing them with each other. So whenever you are ready, Mike. All right. <laughs> Let's get through this. Carrie, you look absolutely stunning. It's unbelievable that I get to promise myself to the person that I consider my best friend. The fact that a regular guy like me was able to convince such an amazing, beautiful, and smart girl like you to go out with me is indescribable. I don't know what I've done to deserve such an amazing woman like you, but every day I am thankful that God has brought you into my life. I truly feel like the luckiest man on earth to have someone like you by my side forever. You are my best friend. You make me laugh, you make me think, and above all, you make me happy. I've had to make many challenging decisions in my life over the last 29 years, but standing here today with you is the easiest decision I've ever had to make. Through thick and thin, you have remained by my side, and I can't thank you enough for believing in us even during challenging times. The way you support my decisions and the way you respect my values truly does make you one of a kind. The way you support my addiction to baseball, the strength <laughs> you find deep within to sit in the bleachers for nine innings on a hot summer afternoon, the way you cope with me going fishing at five o'clock in the morning, and the way you comfort me when I cry in my sleep <laughs> does mean the world to me and I thank you for that. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever laid eyes on. From head to toe, I truly do love everything about you. Looking into your beautiful green eyes every morning is my favorite part of the day. I knew from the first time we met that you were different than the rest. Your selflessness, your loving and caring nature, your bubbly personality, and your beautiful smile are just some of the things that drew me closer to you. A few years into our relationship, we were blessed with an angel, our niece Savannah. Two years later, we were once again blessed with her brother, our nephew, Nathan. The way you interact with both of them is truly amazing. The love you have for them and the way you glow when you're around them is indescribable. After witnessing how you care, nurture, and interact with them, once again brought me even closer to you. I can't wait to have children of our own someday and grow our family. The thought of how great of a mother you will be gives me butterflies just thinking about it. Today is our day. I am extremely excited to finally be able to introduce you as my wife. I promise to cook dinner for you until I can't physically cook anymore. I promise to take the fish off of the hook for the rest of your life. I promise to love you unconditionally forever. I promise to remain by your side through thick and thin no matter what life throws at us. I promise to support you and your decisions to the best of my ability. I promise to provide for you and our family in the best way possible. I promise to do everything in my power to make you and keep you happy for the rest of your life. <laughs> Most importantly, I promise to never stop loving you. I can't wait to wake up to my best friend every morning. Carrie, I look forward to fulfilling our greatest dreams together and I can't wait to see what our future holds. I love you, Carrie, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to, first of all, congratulate, I'm sorry, mine's all crumpled up right <laughs> off the I want to congratulate and thank both Thanks. of you. There we go, that's a best man. Thanks. He's doing his job. It's one thing to feel those 
emotions, it's quite another to be able to express them as the two of you have. And yesterday when you told me that you had eight pages each, I'm like, okay, that's good. And I have actually <laughs> never seen vow books that were like mini encyclopedias. But do you know what? This is what it's all about and this is the place to share them. And I can only tell you from a female perspective, what you just spoke to your bride is what every girl dreams of hearing. And I know that that comes from your heart, just as your words, as her words did for you. You're both so blessed to have each other. So on that note, we are going to move forward with the giving and receiving of the wedding rings as you seal your covenant of love. So Nick, I'm gonna have you come forward. Nick Don't has many it. goals today. If you want to come over on this side and go ahead and present them. Help you out there here. we go. With each Thanks, other's buddy. wedding ring. Go drop over. Yeah, dude. Is that upside down? <laughs> you shaking? Very nice. I'm very You're shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Love you, girl. Love you too, dude. <laughs> Gotta have some bro hugs. Let's keep the love going. Okay. Well, as you both know, the wedding right. rings that you hold right now are a symbol of your commitment and love for one another. May they remind you that marriage is not a destination, but it's a journey that has no beginning and no ending. May the precious metal of these rings you hold today always remind you of your precious commitment to one another. And with these rings, may he who gives it and she who shall wear it remain faithful to each other and abide in peace and favor and live together in love until your lives end. So Mike, I want you to look into the eyes and heart of this beautiful young lady that's standing before you today and realize she is about to become your wife. She will look to you for gentleness, for support, for understanding, for encouragement, and for protection. Michael, do you receive Carrie to be your wife, and do you give this ring today as a symbol of your faithfulness and love as you join your life with hers from this day forward? I do. You may go ahead and place the ring on her finger. Carrie, I take you to be my loving wife. To be my loving wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. Until the end of time. Until the end of time. Carrie, I want you to look into the eyes and heart of this wonderful young man that's standing before you today and realize he is about to become your husband. He also will look to you for gentleness, for support, for understanding, for encouragement, and for protection. Carrie, do you receive Michael to be your husband, and do you give this ring today as a symbol of your faithfulness and love as you join your life with his from this day forward? I do. You may go ahead and place the ring on his finger. Oh, that was so easy. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Don't let go of that hand. I'm sweaty. I was worried. Look into his eyes and heart as you repeat these beautiful promises after me. Michael, I take you. Michael, I take you. To be my loving husband. To be my loving husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. Until the end of time. Until the end of time. And Michael and Carrie, from this day forward, every time the two of you hold hands as you are right now, and you feel those wedding rings that you have placed on the hand of the one that you love, be reminded of these beautiful promises, your personal vows, your formal vows that you shared with each other on your wedding day. And wear those rings openly and with pride because it says to the world, I found my person. I found my special someone that has promised to love me and cherish me for all of our days together. Michael and Carrie, you have just sealed your relationship with the giving and receiving of the wedding rings and you have shared beautiful promises with one another. 
You will now further celebrate your love through the symbolization of the pouring of the unity sand. So at this time, I'm going to invite the two of you to go ahead and stand around. You can go in behind the table. Don't drop it. And go ahead and hold your individual containers. One container represents you, Michael. The other container represents you, Carrie. These containers represent all that you were, all that you are today, and all that you're about to be in your married lives together. Each grain of sand in their separate container represents a unique and separate moment, separate decision, feeling, or event that helped to shape both of you into the separate and unique individuals that you are today. In just a moment, you will pour your sand into that center frame, at which time you will be merged as one, as husband and wife, blended and bound together for life. I invite you to go ahead and begin pouring your sand into the center frame. Babe. Come on, catch up. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated into their individual containers again, like our okay. prayer for you today is that your lives together will be blended as one until the end of the time. And I'll invite you again to once again once again go ahead and take your places on the altar and we'll just need to turn. <laughs> Very perfect. Very nicely done. And once again, I want you to hold hands. And I want the two of you to again take in a deep breath and relax. And I want you to capture this special moment on your wedding day. Store this moment in your mind. It's been a busy week. Your wedding day is busy. But you're here sharing these beautiful moments with everyone today. You're not only creating a lifelong memory for each other, but for all of us that are here sharing these beautiful moments with you. And as you look into each other's eyes and hearts, I want you to realize that of all the gifts you have been given or received in your lives, the greatest gift is standing before you today on your wedding day. Realize that right now you're holding the hands of your very best friend that is strong and full of love for you on your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you will build a future. These are the hands that will give you strength when you truly need it the most. And lastly, these are the hands that even as you grow old together, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just one touch. Michael and Carrie, your lives are now joined infinitely and inseparable as one because you have committed yourselves to one another in marriage. May your union be forever, forever blessed. And before I officially pronounce you as husband and wife and get to the moment that we've all been waiting for, I want everybody just to have their beach balls ready for just a moment as they are ready to walk down the aisle, not while they're kissing. <laughs> Michael Halterman and Carrie Roth, by the authority vested in me, by the laws of the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I invite you now to seal this union and your promises of love with the most important kiss of your life. Go ahead and kiss your beautiful bride. I love you. I love you. Well, that is a little bit short, uh, so we need one more to seal the vow. <laughs> you so funny yeah. too. Yes. Thank you. That's that better. Family and friends, please join me in congratulating and celebrating with our newlywed, Mr. and Mrs. Halterman. And walk very slowly and up with the Family in the front row, everybody's here. Is our family in the front row on the bride's side? Oh, baby, before we say I do. Savannah is comfortable. For something she kept herself busy I need to, this wedding today. to tell you. Oh, 
on our groove side. Go ahead and join the newlyweds. And family, I just want to remind everyone to make sure that they have a seashell because we're all going to be heading out to the water line. Thank you so much. Dave and Sue Roth. Come on in, guys. And next we have parents of the groom, Rodney Halterman and Gina Gerhart. And ladies and gentlemen, the reason that we're all here today our bridal party, starting with the maid of honor, Aaron Zivchak, and the best man, Nicholas Halterman, with the flower girl, Savannah Zivchak. Come on in, guys. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Bring them out, bring them out. 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 That's right, let's hear it for these two one more time. And ladies and gentlemen, the reason that we're all here today, make some noise for the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Halterman.
Here one more time for our bride and groom. Look at the two of you dancing that way, lost in the moment and each other's face. So much in love, you're alone in this place. Like there's nobody else in the world I was enough for her not long ago I was her number one She told me so And she still means the world to me Just so you know So be careful when you hold my girl Time changes everything I'm not gonna stand in your way I loved her first I held her first And a place in my heart Will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me I knew the love of a father runs deep And I prayed that she'd find you someday but it's still hard to give her away I loved her first How could that beautiful woman with you Be the same freckle-faced kid that I knew The one that I read all those fairy tales to And tucked into bed all those nights and I knew the first time I saw you with her It was only a matter of time I loved her first I held her first And a place in my heart Will always be hers From the first breath 
From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me I knew the love of a father was deep And I prayed that she'd find you someday But it's still hard to give her away I loved her first From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me I knew the love of a father runs deep Someday you might know what I'm going through When a miracle smiles over you I loved her first All right, let's hear it for the bride and her beautiful dad. Time for groom and mom. Thank you everybody, first off, for coming. I know that it has been a difficult time trying to get here with changing dates and everything, but thank you all. I know it means the world to Carrie and Mike because it does us. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to cry. Oh, I know. But actually, Carrie, this isn't gonna be for you, it's more for Mike. Thank you. You are like everything to her and us. 
You treat her with the love and respect that she deserves. You make her feel beautiful every day about herself. And that's all we can ask for. You treat my kids like they're your own. And I thank you for that too. I wish you all the best. There's no way I could have written this because, <laughs> like I said, I, I know what I want to say and it's just going to come out. So, but I love you guys and thank you. Welcome to the family. We gave you enough time to run, honey, and you didn't. We told you. We warned you for eight years to run and you didn't. So, thank you for sticking around. I, I love it. And now, Nick, it's your turn, buddy. Don't cry. What's going on, everybody? It's Nick in the house. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping to be the best looking person here, but obviously Carrie blew us all away. Um, for those of you that don't, uh, I can't talk. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick, Mike's uh, younger brother and better looking. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank Mike and Carrie for allowing me to honor uh, today. I don't feel like it could be said enough. I'd also like to thank everyone who worked so hard to ensure this special day for the bride and groom is so perfect. Uh, both sides of the families, all the camera and videographer and everybody speaking today. Uh, I want to thank Carrie's parents, Dave and Sue, and my parents, Tina and Ronnie, for bringing two wonderful people in this world uh, who love each other and can cherish each other's moments. Mike, I'd just like to say you hit it out of the park, man. You really did find this beautiful woman. Carrie, I love you. I've loved you since Mike. You know, I really met you. You guys, uh, you both have been through so much in life and there's so many more moments to make. Mike, you're a strong man and I idol you. You're my best friend. And I love you forever. And Carrie, I've never had a sister and it's very happy to call you my sister. Thank you for everything you guys have done for me as a man. When I've been gone many miles away, taking care and looking after everybody. Introducing me to your little animal family that you guys have when I come home. Carrie, I want you to take care of Mike, please. Take him to as many baseball and hockey games as possible. Allow him to go fishing and allow him to take me. Allow him to go out for drinks and take me. <laughs> allow him to be a great father to your children when you guys have and make new memories with them. Allow him to be the man that you've always deserved. And Mike, take care of my new sister. Always make her smile and laugh. Be her shoulder to cry on. Take the fish off the hook for her when you guys go fishing. Give her the home run ball that you guys catch at the World Series. You guys deserve each other, and I'm so happy for both of you. I love you. I'm proud of both of you. So if everybody would like to be outstanding and join me in raising a glass to my best friend and the love of his life. May he be blessed on countless years and happiness together. Congratulations. There we go. I'm okay when I'm down at the altar. It's a little different. I'm not usually at the reception. So thank you so much for the honor of sharing these special moments with you and your families. We are so fortunate to, especially all of you who are here from Ohio, so you know, as I am from Canada, to be in a spectacular place like this is really a dream come true. This is a fairy tale wedding. But God has gifted us with all of you and you two with each other. So at this time, I think that we should just ask for God's blessings one more time as we thank him for the meal and for our beautiful day and this wonderful surroundings that we get to share together. So if I could please ask for everyone to bow their heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you once again today to thank you for the beautiful blessings that you have given us throughout the day for bringing these two beautiful families together and obviously these two beautiful people, Carrie and Michael. Lord, once again, we ask for your blessings over their marriage. And as you have written in 1 Corinthians, the strongest in love is faith, hope, and love. And we know that love can conquer all, and they have proven that. Today, we want to thank you as we come in an attitude of celebration and gratitude and love 
Lord, thank you for this food that you are about to put before us as it nourishes our bodies. And thank you for just the opportunity for all of us to be together and celebrate as we congratulate our newlyweds in their long-lasting, loving, and beautiful marriage. We thank you for everyone on the vendor team as well. I just want to thank you, Lord, for bringing us all together and for the people at the Beach House that have prepared this beautiful celebration and the food that we are about to enjoy. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen.
some more. Hold up, wait a minute, do I see what I think? I want to get the best I've seen, sure to get more. I can't say, you're the best I've seen, 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 you're the best i have seen you 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 the best i have
Some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Halterman. We love it. Just the other day, wrote down all the things I'd say. Just couldn't. Hey, she 